Hey there, this is my uh, everyday knife guy 3000 sub contest entry. This is the Victorinox uh, section. Uh, I want his little um, a little dark uh, cadet that he's given away, the 2015. Painfully aware it's similar to this one, except it does have the, uh, the key ring. Um, but as any Swiss Army knife enthusiast knows, uh, a slightly different colour is ample reason <laughs> to pick up another Swiss Army knife. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about my favourite five tools on uh, Victorinox tools. I'm going to be rather specific, and um, as in not just scissors, but certain scissors, and not just screwdrivers, but certain screwdrivers. I'll count them down from five to one. So let's get started. Number five, the bottle opener and flathead screwdriver. This can be um, a tool for all occasions. Pry tool, opening bottles, opening wide flat slot screwdrivers, um, just generally you're poking, scraping, um, especially when you've got a tool with limited um, limited numbers of, um, of functions, this becomes your sticker scraper and everything. Very, very high use tool. Uh, this iteration of it is uh, slightly smaller because it's on a cadet. You'll see if I open up my Pioneer. It's a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger all over. And then when you start getting the um, the Swiss tool, you get a little bit longer again. But I really, really like the Swiss Army Knife bottle opener. Number four is the punch or the awl. Uh, I'm the type of chap who I usually buy belts on. The, I usually have a fairly narrow waist. I usually buy belts um, a size too large and then end up using the very last last punch hole. So you end up, I often end up making another one. And other people seem to have this problem too, or they're between between belt holes, and so they need to make another little one. Uh, the punch is a really handy tool. Um, this iteration with the eye hole, uh, the needle uh, thread hole in the middle, uh, handy as well. Uh, if you need to get sort of um, thicker string through heftier materials like um, ductile plastic or uh, leather or things like that, I like this one a lot. And this is on this is the one uh, on your standard 91 millimeter tools. Uh, Swiss tool, you get a, a no needle hole, and um, on the Pioneer, you get a slightly longer, slightly uh, sharper, uh, but again, no needle hole. So I prefer the one on the 91mm uh, models, the standard punch. Next, I like the plain blade on the Pioneer. It's a big, bigger, beefier blade than you get on your other SAKs. A little bit more robust, nice white, bit, bit of a wider face on it. This one snaps with real authority. Almost feels, you know, semi-locking. Good resistance there. Uh, this is a really good everyday carry knife to use. It's got a little bit of th uh, thickness to it as well. But then, of course, the full flat grind keeps it nice and uh, nice and poised for uh, slicing things like that. Great drop point shape. There's a reason they haven't changed this for 100 years. It's almost perfect. Wouldn't mind if they uh, dabbled in some harder steels, but then the best, one of the better things about Swiss Army knives and one of the things that contributes to the collectability is the lower end of the price scale. And um, you know, the steel, just fine. Some sort of 4000 series um, stainless. So the Pioneer uh, main blade is the next favorite tool, number three. Number two is the scissors on the classic or the 54 millimeter models. To have a little pair of scissors so capable on something that takes up literally no weight on your keyring is um, definitely a boon. When you compare to something that has a lot more weight, like a little leather and squirt here, which also has scissors, you really are getting a lot more. These scissors don't open as fluidly, they don't bounce back as far, whereas these ones really do. Definitely the best keyring scissors, in my opinion, that you can get. Unless you're happy to sacrifice some extra space and weight for these bad boys here. Which even then, won't particularly outcut these by a great margin anyway. So my second favourite of all the Swiss Army Knife tools. My favourite Swiss Army Knife tool that I've come across so far. This is my Victorinox Explorer. My favourite tool is this fully three-dimensional Phillips driver 
number two size I think so it isn't extremely delicate but that's good when it's made of softer steel uh, you need to lock this completely into a bolt but it will turn them with ease uh, I don't know why this isn't a more common tool I think it does take up a fairly thick slot on the back and it seems to run with more random tools like this magnifying glass and then um, it often shows up on the 111 millimeter tools um, a sort of a longer thinner Phillips but I definitely prefer this one to the uh, Tinker or the this on this case the the Hiker Phillips that goes at the back the T-shaped just because yeah whilst you can get a little bit more torque on it this is never going to be a hard use screwdriver because it's the softer steel and it's um, sort of just sitting in a little slot in the back of a thin liner for some enough. So I'd say go for utility, go for reach, and this one is almost perfect. It's about as good as you can get on a really any size pocket, any pocket sized uh, multi tool screwdriver. It's about comparable with the one on the rebar by Leatherman, which again is a much greater sized tool, and uh, it's definitely better than lots of the ones that feature on Gerber and uh, other brand multi tools that are two dimensional. So that's my favourite tool. I might do a little bit of a caveat about my least favourite tools, or the ones that I just don't think are necessary. There's a few that are often brought up, like the package hook, uh, which I do have here, which I don't really detest particularly. I'm sure there's some use for it. To be honest, I always forget it's there because I don't really expect a great deal more than the um, either the corkscrew or the uh, screwdriver and the... Um, the all to be on the back of my Swiss Army knife, so I'm not too fussed about it. Uh, the magnifying glass, people often think, oh, that's a bit silly, but I actually find a fair bit of utility in that. The pen blade, I would often prefer that this was a uh, perhaps something else, perhaps even a pair of scissors. Get rid of the pen blade, but one thing I think Victorinox needs to start looking at is the assumption that everyone wants a can opener. Um, with the saving grace of having the little flat screwdriver on which is still not particularly amazing because it can't go very deep into screws um, this tool really doesn't get any use from me at all uh, I never open cans um, I'd much prefer if they went a bit like how Leatherman does a all-in-one tool and uh, save the slot for a different tool the uh, Victorinox uh, Compact seems to really get this right so knife you should probably look up so that's probably my least favourite tool some runners-up included the tweezers. This is runners-up for favourites, by the way. Runners-up included tweezers. Indispensable if you've got a... Um, wait, these are jammed right in there. Indispensable if you've got a wife that likes... Um, or, or a girlfriend that likes picking at your face. Um, when you've got, you know, stray eyebrow hairs or something. I often get the tap on the shoulder. Do you have any tweezers? I'm like, oh yeah, sure, here you go. Why? And it's already too late. I'm already getting the uh, eyebrow grooming session impromptu on the couch. Tweezers are very handy. I am partial to the wood saw but I think truly though um, its utility is probably more um, sort of nostalgic than, than currently practical. I think most people would um, prefer a saw that had some sort of lock on the back because uh, when this does get stuck and bound and you pull away it can fold rather easily. I have used this saw a fair bit but um, I do think that the saw is probably, that's why I didn't make the top five, just because I think it generally needs to be one of the locking tools and perhaps one of the 110 millimeter, 111 millimeter rather tools, but that's all. But apart from that, uh, Victorinox really does knock the nail on the head with most of these tools, and um, my favorite five were a bit, diffi yeah, a bit uh, difficult to choose, but there you have it. So that's my entry for um, your video camera, um, your Swiss Army knife, the dark blue one. Uh, I see that and I want to, so there we go. Thanks very much. See you, man.